Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're doing a little bit of an experiment. I've been messing around with these small sort of tracking darts, I'll, I'll paste them in, but I wanted to find out what would happen if we sent a wall of them into a ship. I recently watched a documentary where they shot a load of particles into an object like this and it created an absolutely amazing effect. So let's actually just see if this is lined up and we'll retract this away from the ship ever so slightly to about here and then we'll just lock that down into place. So now that I'm in the spectator cam, we've lined the camera up so we'll be able to see what will happen when these objects actually impact. I'm really excited to actually see. Each one of these has a little mag lock on the front so they should lock onto the hull of the ship. It's just going to be a really interesting experiment to see what sort of result we get. Now if I turn my hood on, you'll see we've just got a load of text and we're going to activate the gravity generator. Gravity generator has been activated and then blocks are heading towards that object. This should be really cool. Let's just see what happens as they start to imprint around it. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that is so cool. <laughs> it's just like transforming the shape around it with the mag blocks. We've got some that are disconnecting and some obviously that can't connect as well. But just look at that. Wow, that's really cool. I can't wait to try this on other ships. Have we got some that have gone through the hangar as well? I'm guessing we have. Yeah, a load have gone through the hangar. And the gravity of these actual blocks, is, it almost looks like some sort of porcupine or hedgehog now. All these blocks have actually attached onto the side and the rest also propelled down the side. We'll have to have a look at some different angles. We'll try an upper angle to see what that looks like when it attaches as well as the side angle and just to see what sort of different results we get. It was really cool though how it attached and the blocks slowly transitioned away. So let's actually have a look from above when this block starts to hit. So the actual cubes are going in now and we'll see just exactly what happens from the top. So what we're trying to create here is a pattern. We're not really trying to create it for any sort of purpose. It's just thought it'd be really interesting to see it. what happens when the blocks actually start colliding and the different blocks connect. So you can see the ones on the right already are starting to print their shape on the outside of the hull on the right. Wow, that's just such a cool effect. You can just see as they start to print through and the little cubes are going on. Now we've got the rest of the hull on the left printing on and on the right. Wow, wow, this is this. Is, I know it serves no real purpose, but the fun factor in this is, is just amazing. So, all them gravity cubes are printed onto the side, and I think we've used most of the gravity cubes now. So, you've got that whole effect down one side. Wow, really cool. Let's, let's try some different angles and mess around maybe with some other ships as well. So, for the next test, we're going to do it to a vertical takeoff and landing sort of ship. Now you can see here it's just a basic one and I've also reinforced it with a landing gear so we won't move when the gravity blocks start to hit it. So let's actually send them in and see what happens. So we can see that coating of blocks is going to be around, starting to cut around. Okay, so it's not definitely not as effective when it comes to doing the smaller ships but it's still a cool sort of effect. Let's go and put on another large one, shall we, instead. It's just lighting the whole thing up. The gravity is far too powerful. It's pulling it away, even though it's connected to that other block. Anyway, let's connect it up to something else. So this time, we have the white ship. Now, we didn't have enough mass cubes to actually cover the whole white ship, but we'll see exactly what effects we get. So we'll hit one, and we'll send them gravity cubes in. I think we'll start with just like a basic perspective from here, and we might move on to a second one. So let's see what it does when it connects up and starts pushing out that shape around the object. There we go, retracting. This ship, this actual ship has a lot of different sorts of lines. You can see the lights picked up as well. So it'll be interesting to see if it can actually attach to them curves and them corners that it's actually building for it. So far, it seems to be doing all right. We've got a lot of loose connectors you can see on the far left-hand side. Let this chug into position a little bit here. And how close are we? Yeah, it looks like we're going to get in contact any moment. There we go. So it's starting to spread around them larger shapes as well. Definitely works better on these flatter surfaces, even though there's a lot of curves going on here. The blocks just seem to be messing around. <laughs> Look at that. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see what sort of perspective we get. Okay, so not as good connection on this ship as well. It works really well on the blue one. But anyway, I thought it'd be a little bit of fun to have a mess around with these sort of cube magnet things and just see what sort of effect we could get by firing them and sticking them at ships. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.